Good morning, HWC kids. Do your parents ever tell you stories about when you were little? Or better yet, show you photos and videos of all the milestones you reached when you were a baby? Well, maybe it's the first time you rolled over. Or maybe the first word you said. Maybe it was the first real food you tried or your first steps or your first big kid haircut. Maybe it was your first day of school or your first t-ball game. <laughs> or maybe when you learned to swim or ride a bike or when you started reading or playing an instrument or maybe even when you lost your first tooth. Maybe less exciting to you but really exciting for your parents. Maybe it was the day you gave up your pacifiers or you mastered potty training. There are so many things that you achieve at very specific times of your life but those things generally have to go in some sort of an order, don't they? You can't learn to ride a bike with, without your legs being strong enough to actually pedal your bike. You have to learn words before you can learn to read and write. Your body and your digestive system have to be big enough and strong enough to handle real solid food. And you can't get a haircut without first growing your hair. And you're not going to start kindergarten when you're a year old or potty training when you're a week old. There's a time for all of these things to happen, isn't there? God knows and helps your parents to know when you're ready for all of these things. It's the same with following God. And in today's Kids Connect lesson, we're reminded that Jesus started his ministry when God knew that the time was right. And when Jesus asked people to help him in his ministry, they dropped everything to follow him and become his disciples. God didn't ask you to stand in front of a hundred people when you were a baby and preach his words to them when you only knew how to say mommy, daddy, and moo or woof. But he did use your smile and your giggles and your slobbery baby kisses to bring your family love and joy and to be reminded of God's great gift of love and creation. God isn't going to ask you to be a missionary in another country when you're 10, right? But he might ask you to be a missionary in your school and tell your friends about his love. God knows what you can and can't handle because God makes us ready at the right time. We can trust that when God calls us to do something, it's because we can. God prepares our hearts to meet and follow Jesus so we're ready to do big things for him. Things like reading our Bibles, going to church, practicing telling others about God's love and helping others prepares us for what God will ask us to do. I love the prayer that our lesson has with it this week. So I'm going to end that with that this morning. Dear God, your timing in all things is perfect. Even when we feel unsure or unprepared, when you are the one calling us, we know it's always the right time. Help us to be brave and be willing to drop everything else to do what is right in your eyes. Keep making us ready to follow you more and more every day. Amen. Have a great day.